Eh, hell, these people aren't watching us anyway. Nobody hey, folks. <laughs> glad, glad to see you here. It's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, I'm your host, Frank. Uh, no shit. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. Uh, if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Uh, I always forget to point out. Brave, this, aren't you? Yeah, this <laughs> is for mature audiences only, even though we are not that mature. But follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot some shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like shirts or phone cases or uh tooth decay pads i, I don't i don't know what we what the anymore. fuck is that <laughs> yeah, what we, is that <laughs> we i don't know we saw stuff uh the link is down there uh if you're in the mood for new math rocks and hell who isn't uh get yourself some custom made math rocks like that little gem uh over on twitter at pirate dog dice hit them up see if they've got time uh they're currently working on david's uh dumbass donut dice uh next up is carol's uh weirdo dice uh so yeah. weirdo dice. uh david just to let you know uh the first run eh, it, yeah. it's not bad it's not bad it's not what you want no it so. sucked the first oh, yeah. run Any, sucked. anything is great at this point so not, you know. not that one, not not that one. <laughs> it's, it's more bubble gum it, yeah, it's it, it's not horrible but uh, it's you know, it's, okay. it's not what you wanted. So the layers didn't on. turn out the way they want. I wanted them to. So okay, that's right. And if you want uh, something that doesn't stink, like David's first draft dice, uh, run on yeah. over to Oddfish Games. Uh, grab yourself one of sixty adventure sets uh, for in-house gaming. Uh, I, I, I gotta say it. I, I love buying it for Gen Con or Gen Con and any other con that I go to. And I like giving away these tiny packets to my DMs uh, to kind of uh, get everybody in the mood around the table. It works so well here in the virtual world, but almost all of us have some. So Kevin's the lone holdout, I think. I think he joined too late, so we'll have to get him some. I think we'll get a future sewers. Oh, yeah, um, right, right. But uh, anyway, that's our pitch. This is Calamity B side, the folks from Toad Town. Yes, as congratulate like, Jesse uh, on his baby. Yeah, uh, Jesse is a father again. Yes, uh, and we have a baby hobo. He gives <laughs> a shit more about having a oh, family. We have than, onesies, uh, don't we? We do Ooh. have onesies. Yes. Awesome. Yep, we do have onesies. Let, let's get him one of those that you know are really inappropriate. Oh yeah, yeah. a brand new tiny murder hobo. Yeah, you yeah, know something with the mimic on it. Uh, <laughs> oh, one with the armor that says, "Don't worry, it's not my blood." <laughs> uh, nice. That, that's the winner right there. Uh, yeah, that's that's the one we got to go with. Or my other onesies a mimic. That, there, you know, there's a there's a design I need to do. Anyway, uh, calamity B side, uh, the Swampers, uh, more or less. Let's introduce you to the cast who's going to make you laugh, smile, groan, or curse. We will start uh, the rear end first. No offense, Kevin. Uh, Kevin, you're up first. Who are you? And who are you playing? <laughs> Well, I, at least when you're the human centipede, you get to be the rear, I suppose. Oh, I oh, okay. to it. Like uh, no, you never, turtle fish. <laughs> you never changes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. You know what to expect every day. But uh, yeah, hi, I'm Kevin. And uh, I'm here. I'm a cast member of Murder Hobo Inc. And tonight I'm playing Ad Hoc, who is an old crusty silver dragonborn who uh, has been around the block a time or two. And uh, I'm also found on Calamity A, where I play the new paladin member of the group tall who is a fun guy too and um also i'm on the talk every once in a while but i am just you know happy to be here be doing a little bit, a little bit of everything today i am uh ready to get back into it be uh creepy and weird <laughs> uh, don't, don't forget your own podcast oh yes that's right i do yeah. something else too uh yeah um when i'm not here i'm also hosting my own podcast game night heroes we play role-playing games and we tell awesome stories i'm the host of the game master over there a bunch of different systems we've got over a year's worth of stuff so come hang out we have a new game coming up soon we're gonna be putting out uh like a modern spies burned spies trying to get back in the good graces kind of stuff and that's uh starting on the 12th so be looking okay. for that. And his shit's classier because he likes to edit. Yeah, I don't know what he does. does. Ah, yeah. Kev does burn notice. <laughs> right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's not fun. But yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on uh, socials on Kevran Games and uh, Game Night Heroes. And uh, new uh, podcast drop every Tuesday. Yeah, it's when on Tuesdays. 
Very yeah. good. Uh, David, same question, different answers. Hey, I'm David. And uh, I am back, folks. I've been MIA for a bit, especially with uh, the BTR scene. And yeah, if you caught it last Tuesday, man, I was stumbling through Socium. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, it was a little bit of that. <laughs> so, uh, oh, but, syrup. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, tonight I'll be playing Crow in our Calamity B side. Uh, Crow is the 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 Wood Elf uh, Rogue Scout, and uh, on the Calamity A side, when we when we play that bunch, uh, I am Ingbe. He is the uh, Shepherd Druid for that one. So, but you can also find me on our Thursday night show of Cacophony, and where I play Zadar the the changeling rogue wizard blade saker now so uh, multi-class is fun anyway uh if you want to follow me on the socials uh i am at d and devious and uh yeah sometimes i have something interesting to say or i just pass on cool things that i find on twitter so anyway that's me and very nice you. rob you're up well, hi, I'm Rob. Uh, I can be found at Cthulhu Rob on the socials, uh, and uh, I can be found here on Murder Hobo playing a Dave, whose picture was just up, uh, on the A side of this campaign, and uh, Brother Cup on this side of the campaign. And strangely enough, no matter which side of the campaign we're playing, as soon as Kevin gets a character in the game, I try and kill him. Yeah, that, that's it true. It seems like a, yeah. That's true. I mean, don't sell yourself short. Peck Peck would disagree that it's not just Kevin. Yeah, no. Well, true. I didn't say it was only Kevin. <laughs> uh, last and certainly not least, Carrie, you are up now. I'm Carrie. Uh, I play on Cacophony, and I do Calamity B side. I play Crendor, and I fill in every now and then when nobody else wants to play. <laughs> and you have fun because I, I do you have live fun. with the greatest dungeon master ever created. Well, I do live with you, yeah. So. And, <laughs> and it was unfortunate that you know you had socium for between the roles because you didn't get to talk about our game that we had where i got to gas someone in the mouth with poison gas yeah that was uh pretty epic i was there and it was baller as hell y'all it was well uh, go ahead and show no Oh, if I oh. gotta go back and catch that one, man. It was juicy. Yeah, that was. Uh, I that surprised was a... Frank, and I never surprised Frank. So. Yeah, it surprised us both. Uh, it was awesome. It was awesome. It's a cool move. Yeah. Power uh, move, one might say. Yeah, that it was completely unexpected. So, folks, uh, don't forget. Uh, if you don't want to see the money makers, you can always just go to tinyurl.com and Hobo Inc. Uh, and remember, audio. I get to live with him. That's true. Yeah, you got to surprise me. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, if you want to watch us, we're on the YouTube archive. If you want to listen to us, we're over at Podbean. So check us out. Folks, uh, Margu B, or Calamity B-Side is today. These guys spent last time, it's been a couple weeks now, uh, destroying dams. So these guys are real infrastructure egomaniacs. Now, we brought in Ad Hoc uh, for B-Side. Uh, he is a member of, uh, we'll call it the Zeto Elite, or the... Uh, Illuminati from Zeto. Uh, and we had Brother Cup in custody because uh, he was way late, like a half hour. But he broke out of jail and let out Lucifer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, the mass murderer who, uh, during their times and trials, uh, escaped. <laughs> they probably had it coming. So, Absconded. So yep. these guys went to check to see why the water levels were dropping. They found two dams, one half-ass, one very nice. Uh, they've destroyed the people guarding said dams and destroyed both dams. Uh, you guys have been away from Z04 approximately a day. Uh, I believe Brother Cup healed everybody as Ad Hoc was eating his pudding cup, got washed away from the waters, uh, almost dying as did Crendor. Uh, but everybody is now healed up, courtesy of Brother Cup. Uh, our Australian dwarf will be hanging out in the background. So you've just destroyed the major bridge. Uh, 
the water is flowing into the lake now. Zeto is probably saved. Everybody give me a perception check. Ooh, right off the bat. Nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. The good thing that's 17. wisdom based. Oh, okay. 20, not natural. Nine. Uh, 15 plus seven. Uh, 22. Ad hoc, as you are wringing the water out of your robes, the other three notice uh, movement in a small copse of trees on the other side. Uh, 22, Brother Cup, you noticed one of the individuals, a human, seemed to have a rope collar around his neck, and his hands were bound, but he kind of waved to you before being yanked back into the copse of trees. Uh, that is what you see. That and a, not a huge honk and river, but kind of a big river. Uh, but the shores are narrowing as the water is receding back into the lake. So, so, so <clears throat> this copse of trees is on the other side of the river or the same side of the river as we are? Other side of the river. I'm not going to make it easy on you guys. <laughs> Can we hop over the river with the uh, with those beasts or something that we first befriended? river first river you did oh, okay all right second river no beasts and a little bit wider oh. I ruined talking? the boat so that's not going to be good fit. are we uh, talking well, like so Mississippi we're... River wider <laughs> we're not talking Mississippi River but we are not talking everybody hold hands and kumbaya across <laughs> uh, it's uh, if all of you held hands, you would probably get a third of the way across. So it's not it's not a massive river, but it ain't going to be, you know, piece of cake walking across. Mm. And it's it's probably <laughs> over Coda and Mai's heads. <clears throat> now, uh, to be fair with the destruction of this particular dam, uh, there are still pylons on either side. Okay. Um, if only we knew a cowboy. Well, yeah, yeah, a cowboy with a really long rope. <laughs> well, I mean, I have twine. I have arrows. We have twine sounds rope. like a river crossing. Yeah. No, uh, we can <laughs> set a. I could shoot an arrow over uh, into one of the pylons or the trees or whatever with a lead line, and then we can pull a rope through or I something. Say, I've got fifty feet of rope. So, do you have a pulley? Well, that's why I was saying a lead line. <laughs> Shoot another, less it around the other. So mm. I don't know if that makes sense. Probably not. <laughs> and, How and about trying, you got looking a, for a better place to cross? Yeah, that too. <laughs> okay. So you want to go north? Uh, sure. south, south leads you to the lake where is that is at. Um, upstream. Upstream would be. That that yeah. would that would bring us to a lowering of the river sooner. Correct. It's receding. You guys go upstream. Uh, you guys sure you know where you're going? Not really, but it's a lovely day for a deluge. Uh, yes. On, on mm-hmm. either either side of the river here, uh, on the far side, a lot of stumps. Uh, on this side, a lot of trees. Uh, so clearly, it was engineered on the far side. As you guys are walking upstream to try and find a suitable spot, boom! Uh, Nineteen Crendor Sue. Something drops out of the trees and hits you, uh, biting you as well. It is a giant snake. Oh. Uh, piss poor roll there. Uh, seven hit points of damage, and give me a strength check, please. The oh, 20 my. plus strength. Crendor, you're mighty. Yeah, she's a barbarian. She should be able to handle it. 15. Was that adding your strength bonus? Yes. Oh, the giant constrictor snake is making her eyes bulge out. Right. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Roll an initiative. All right. 
Do I have a bit? Nope. <clears throat> That's a seven for Brother Cup. Uh, I've got a uh, 14 plus five, so 19 for Crow. Ad hoc's coming in with an unnatural 20. That won't do it. No, that won't do it. No, Six. that won't do it. <laughs> no, that won't. There it is. Nat 20 ad hoc choking on your pudding cup. You notice, holy oh. shit, something just fell out of the tree. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> well, what is the meaning of this? Well, um, not that's not very good at all. I'm going to use my last spell of the day. I'm going to cast magic missile in the direction of this giant creature. And oh, Lord. Not kill anyone else. Um. Since you since you've Two, known Crendor Sue for a couple nine, hours, one, you have no doubt that she's not a pole dancer with her pet snake. Uh, right. Go ahead, go ahead and kill the uh, act. Selma Two, Hayek. Two, yeah. six. It on. I was going to say Electra Pandemonium. <laughs> That's it. All right, it's going to be. Um, uh, sorry, I can't add uh, ten points of damage. Got it. Nineteen, Crow. You're up next. Okay. Uh, yeah, a couple of short swords out. I'm going to try to sure. hit the snake and not Grindor. <laughs> Please. That, that's oh. going to avoid really high and really low rolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. 19 to hit with the first uh, hand attack. And I'm going to do my offhand attack, so no modifier for that. Uh six on the second one so the first one <laughs> does the first one hit with a 19 oh yeah okay easy to uh, hit hard to kill right Ooh. okay nine points slashing damage uh the snake tightens its grip <laughs> upon you crendor <laughs> uh-oh <laughs> Oops. Uh, do, does not hit you with the fangs uh, but gives you four bulging uh, as it constricts across your neck. Awesome. Take four constriction or bludgeoning damage. Oh. Uh, seven, Brother Cup, you are up next. Oh, bother. We don't have time for this. And I will walk up and lay my hand upon it. I have to make a melee spell attack. Uh, that's going to be a 17 to hit. Armor class works. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I'm, it's a 12. I'm casting inflict wounds at second level. Ooh, okay. juicy! Nice. Uh, seven, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-four points of necrotic damage. Wow. Love it. Yeah, that is painful. Uh, Crendor, this thing is choking the shit out of you. Give me another strength roll, please. <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, fifteen. <laughs> Uh, 15 still fails so oh. uh, you can feel your life force slipping away oh no oh. round two ad hoc you're up well drastic times call for drastic measures friends and I'm going to go ahead and get a big old huff and a puff and I'm going to blow the breath weapon right in the direction of both Crendor and the snake sure. ah! <laughs> there's a burst of uh, lightning that streaks <clears throat> out of my throat uh, let's see what the save throw for that. Constitution save, it's going to be... Oh, man, another page here. Crendor, Constitution save. It's a 14. 18. She holds up the snake. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to roll some hobo dice here for the damage because it's 2d6. We got a hobo and a 3, so that's 9. So she's going to take half the snake. With the, that needs a save, too, I think. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it would help if I'm uh, four on my roll. So I don't think I'm going to make that. Uh, Crendor, you take four lightning damage from the old geezer <sighs> with Jesus the pudding Christ. cup. Uh, but that is enough. Uh, holding up the snake, you do successfully slap. Uh, Crendor, you are still choking uh, because the serpentine bodies wrap around you. Crow, you are up. Okay. Uh, so this thing's not dead yet, or is it dead? It's, it's dead. Oh. But it's still wrapped around her neck. Okay. I'm going to... I 
attempt to try to pry this off of her. <laughs> strength, strength, roll? strength roll. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Nineteen plus one, so twenty. <laughs> You uh, yank it in half, so now it's severed in two different places. Uh, Krendor, you <laughs> can breathe again. Your eyes are still a little bit bulgy, kind of frog-like, uh, but you will be okay. Uh, uh, as 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 things are calming down, <coughs> Cup's going to look at Krendor and go, Krendor, Cheskin loves you, and you will get 14 points of damage restored. <sighs> Ooh. Thank That's you. my healing word. I offer him half of the snake for a belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this snake got pulled yeah. up too Aww. bad. It's, you can have wrist probably braces. dissolving anyway. I did lots of necrotic to yeah. <laughs> it's rotting. Bracers at oh, least yeah. something. Uh, who wants to be twelve against me? Yeah, you can get colorful bracers out of it. Okay. <laughs> who wants to be twelve? Uh, Crow will be oh, yeah. twelve against you. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, what a mighty five. Well, uh, no river crossing here. This place looks even wider. Uh, continue Damn. north. Yeah, I believe oh. so. Perception check, everybody. I think I might be ready for a nap here over here. Holy crap. <laughs> 21. Nat, nat 20, so 27. Predator Ogers. 13. Cup and ad hoc. Ad hoc got an un, unnatural 20. So I'm still one. gasping for breath. <laughs> yeah, Crendor, Crendor doesn't notice it. Crow, Ad hoc, and Brother Cup, you notice uh, in the moderately high grasses ahead uh, is the body of what appears to be a human. Mm. Face down. Oh. Is this somebody else that you left in the jail before we left out on our mission? Or is something different here you cannot tell who it is because of the grass but you can tell it's somebody there okay uh, i will jog up to them and see if they need assistance <laughs> hello there i'm brother you, cup do you need you, aid you jogging is astonishing uh this person is <laughs> unconscious uh and it is a female and and they're alive though they are alive and uh they are dressed in a long Gray robe. Okay, I will uh, spare the dying and restore her to one hit point and stabilize her. Okay. What's everybody else want to do? You uh, okay over there? Just visualize Brother Cup jogging. <laughs> exactly. He's making the noise as he's running. Hey, we can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Crow is just standing by. Bo, uh, knocked, but uh, just uh, sure. Spare the dying and eye. shoot him. <laughs> yeah. I'm breaking out my water skin to offer her water. Yeah. Right, right. Ad hoc, you're the other one that noticed. Yeah, are you all right over there? What seems to be the problem? Oh, why don't you shoot fire at them or something? Maybe that will help them. Lightning, Please. Yes. lightning bolt them. It does they're, seem to be his way of greeting people. They're, they're Fireball. hurt. Fireball. They're, they're injured. Why would I try to hurt them? Exactly. Why? I apply pressure to their skull. That's it's not I like know. they're in a makeshift boat crossing a river. They're probably safe. Uh, everybody give me a religion check now that you're surrounding this uh, poor hapless female. Okay. Ooh. I'm very religious. Ooh. And I, I have no bonuses whatsoever to it. Oh, um, that's a 13 minus 1 is 12. Nice. Uh, 18th Crow. Rad Hawk. Okay. Uh, uh, 12 for Crow. I'm going to okay. use... Oh, do oh, I see I'm any sorry. red piping on the road? That should be a 14. I have a plus 1 to religion. I am proficient okay. in it. Uh, no red piping. Okay. Uh, Ad Hoc, you recognize this. This is a cleric uh, of the Blair... Uh, religion. Blair Witch. B-L-A-R-E, -E, not Blair Witch. Sounds loud. Uh, it is a regional deity, uh, northern-esque deity. Uh, ad hoc, you've seen them before, uh, and uh, you are somewhat familiar uh, if you saw my earlier chat. Hmm. 
So, wow. Yeah. They are friendly. Um, why this female is out here by herself, you cannot ascertain yet. Can we see what kind of wounds she has? <laughs> she has been stabbed with what appear to be antlers. Oh, wow. No. Well, Priestess of Blair, uh, you have come a long way from the town of Shades. Uh, uh, I, I have. How, how can we be of assistance this day? Well, Everyone, this is a friend. This is an ally. They're from a neighboring town. They, uh, she means us no harm, I assure you. Mm -hmm. Says the guy who flung a lightning bolt at his own uh, party member. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I remember uh, it differently, but... Uh, that's because you have <laughs> Alzheimer's. Right. <laughs> Senility. He has a bit muddled. Uh, <laughs> okay, here... Hearing that, Crow just uh, takes the arrow and quivers it and, you know, slings the bow. Uh, she uh, looks at you, Adok. She's pale and sullen. Uh, her, uh, she, she doesn't look real hot. Uh, the one hit point is nice, but uh, she's kind of weak. And she points out that uh, she was part of a scouting party trying to figure out what was going on uh, with some missing members of their community. Uh, when uh, she became lost because everybody suggested that they go in different directions and she got jumped uh, by a flesh-eating deer. Nope. Uh, it was uh, a male. With well, antlers? Human? Yeah, he had, he had antlers in me. <gasps> oh. He's covered in blood, too. That sounds... Kinky, but not entirely part of what our excursion here is about. What else? Our brother you... Cup can heal you back up to full health. Do not worry, priestess. Brother Cup, let's go. Let's get this oh, going. Sure, here. just throw that healing out there. It's not even yours. <laughs> well, that's okay because Brother Cup's running low on spells as well. So I'm I'm happy as hell if he wants to do that. Uh, yeah, yeah Brother her. Cup's running real low on spells. Um. What else did she notice about him? Like about how she, he gives, <laughs> she gives a basic description. Everybody roll a d12 against her. Ooh, oh, 10. Oh, 11. Jesus. 1. Ooh, 12. I'm still trying to find a d12. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, 9. Oh, wow. Mach 5. Uh, ad hoc, what was yours? 11. Uh, oh, why does that guy sound familiar? Oh, yeah. Uh, it was the guy Brother Cup went out of prison. That's what I think. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> that Lucifer, what a pain in the ass. Uh, uh, pain, pain in the abdominum. Uh, yes, that's you know, probably I'm there, to too. I'm slightly responsible for this. Did he say why he was stabbing you? Uh, he did not. Uh, but he was already anything? covered in blood. Oh, dear. He what? said hi. Right. What, do, is, do what is your name, priestess, so we can refer to you correctly? My name is Manera, M-A-N-Y-A-R-A, -A -A, Manera. Uh, you are definitely well met, I say, kind of eyebrowing a little bit. She is I'm actually <laughs> illiterate, so spelling doesn't help me any. <laughs> she's, she's a young 30s, uh, medium size and weight. Uh, Even better. Uh, Why are you he, hitting on the priestess, you I would never old man? Do. I would never do any yeah. such thing He's as a that. dirty old man. Uh, they are not zealot, but they obey a very strict code. Um, but it doesn't say anything about being celibate. Oh. That's right. <laughs> well, Brother Cup, with the healing, were you, were you getting to this or? Oh, uh, yeah, just digging around looking for my ingredients. Um, yes. <laughs> So, Priestess Minera. Oh. Um, yes, the, the man who, who injured you, yes, unfortunately, our companion here, he led him on a boat to stray. I tried to be heroic really? and put down the boat. Really? This is how we're doing this? Yeah. Make sure that it was destroyed, but uh, alas, these things happen. But, um, well. Yeah, I, I feel take kind the dull of my job on and I whack him in the knee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, fuck it! I'll throw her a healing word. <laughs> Great. Give the give the old man gout now. <laughs> uh, she gets thirteen points. Ooh, oh yeah, she's feeling much better now. 
I Thank you, Brother Cup. Better. Your generosity knows no bounds, and I am <clears throat> quite remember pleased. that when I'm completely out of spell slots, would you? I think uh, I, I think we should get back across the river uh, and head towards the safety and uh, sanctity of town. Uh, how do, do you do you have a boat? No, there's a there's a set of stones up oh. here uh, that we can uh, walk across. It was really easy. Oh, perfect! I like things that are easy. But it better be very careful. <laughs> like wedding cups. Someone tie a rope oh, yes. to Coda before we cross the stream. Kevin definitely yes. needs to be on Margu. <laughs> 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 and if you watch Margu, you know exactly why. Exactly. I, I know exactly why. Oh, my why. God. <laughs> oh, little Frankie. So, gross. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it is getting dark. Uh, it's maybe a couple hundred yards away. And uh, right there in the bend of the river is a, large, a lot of large stones uh that makes the water increase in speed coming out of this corner uh the waters are somewhat damp uh they aren't submerged for the most part uh but they are damp so it's not going to be a cakewalk but uh she she volunteers to go first if you'd like oh by all means uh uh, I stand corrected. It is a cakewalk for her. She rolls a natural 20 and hop skips and jumps over. It's all clear. Perfect. Well, I believe age before beauty. And I'll start to make my way across. He's Bye. going in the river. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna tie Coda onto a rope and hand the rope to Crow. Okay. Yeah, Crow. We know how he line. is with river crossings. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> Go ahead, Ad Hoc. You're up. Give me a Dex or Acrobatics. Essentially, the same oh, thing, it's oh. going to be so great for either <laughs> one. Okay. Things I'm so good at. Uh, Roll to 15. My Dex plus uh, one, so 16. Okay. Oh, yeah. You uh, you make it. Give me an investigation check. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's much better. That's a natural 20 with a plus zero, so just 20. Uh, there's footprint on one of the rocks that. Uh, Looks a little bit larger than uh, your new friend. Mm. Uh, you can turn around. Yeah, but he's probably still staring at her ass. So that's true. Would he see it? I yeah. believe I noticed this very well, Crandor. Thank you very much. <laughs> All I hear <laughs> is love on the rugs. Ain't no <laughs> surprise. <laughs> I think there may perhaps have been someone or something that might have followed you this way, Priestess. Have you seen anyone large and imposing in this area before? Uh, gut wound? <laughs> oh, yes, but but we're talking a large footprint. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm up Lucifer's. here, there, off. <laughs> uh, who's next across? Um, oh, well, no time like the present. Yeah. Go ahead, Cup. Uh, 14. <laughs> uh, about halfway over, you notice him take a little whoo, <laughs> slip. Uh, so he, he focuses in a little bit more attention. Uh, Crow or Crendor, who's up? I'll go. <clears throat> oh, shit. Seven. Oh, uh, D12 against me. Let's see if you hit a big rock or a small rock. Oh, three. Note to self also tie ropes to Crendor. Yes. Big rock. Ooh. Five hit points of damage. Ooh, damn uh, it. In order to continue your crossing, give me another roll, please. Oh, shit. Two. D D twelve against me, big rock or small. Oh. Twelve. Ooh, eleven. <laughs> One more hit point. Uh, one more time, Crendor. Oh, man. Did we just lose our barbarian? Where, where, where does she go? <laughs> oh, God. Five. She can Eight. swim. I've seen her do it. Well, that's good, at least. Take four more hit points and throw yourself onto the muddy side. Oh, that was a hell of a crossing. <laughs> okay, Crow. Beat that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, with that, let's see. 
<laughs> okay. 19 plus 5, so 24. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> sex from the beach. Crow, crow he crow walks over backwards with his eyes shut. <laughs> Let's start moonwalking. <laughs> uh, everybody is on the far side. It is getting dark. Uh, this far north, uh, there are still trees that were not chopped down. So there's a small copse of trees if you want to take shelter, uh, or you can camp out in the open either way. Keep in mind that Brother Cop, uh, and did somebody else see the the individual, the human, or just Cop? It was just me. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Cop's seen it, uh, and you know that an antler-toting Lucifer is around here somewhere. So do we catch up with Crendor? Mm. Patch her up? You can't patch her up. You guys don't have any healing spells left. We just got to take a rest. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, oh, okay. it, it, it's dark. So you How much further to the town of Shades? No, oh, shut it, old man. Two, two days. <laughs> two days. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. We can take a long rest? Oh, yes, let's rest. Yes, let's rest. These weary bones of ours. Are we uh, going to set up a guard? Rotation. I think we should. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Crow will stand guard. Now, so. Are you guys going to do one for one or two to one? Or how do you want to do it? I really want to do it. <laughs> I'll take at least a second to watch. I'm really kind of. I, I'm an early riser. <laughs> He's so already I'll, out. <laughs> I'll take the third watch. Crendor, soon you get to rest your weary bones. Oh, thank God. And right after I say I'll take the third watch, I fall down to sleep. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, Crow, you're up first. D12 against me. Okay. Uh, Crow's also going to use his what elf skill to hide, you know, so while he's uh, watching. So D12 against you? Uh, that would be a seven. Uh, you hear standard wildlife noises. Um, are there I, banjos? I mean, there are no banjos yet. Uh, you grew up in the swamp, so none of this is unusual. Uh, your shift ends. You can wake up ad hoc. Ad wake hoc. up. <laughs> I, I shake a, I hold a mirror under his nose. <laughs> or... <laughs> He's alive. You should have gone out and found a dead deer and held the antlers right in oh his face. Oh, my God. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Crow could have taken one down. So. <laughs> Just fucking with you. <laughs> Magic missiles to Crow's face. <laughs> Uh, what's the one where you can do little fireworks? Oh, press the digitation. Press the yeah. digitation. Oh, yeah. Ad hoc D12. Oh, absolutely. 11. That's respectable, I think. Uh, I hope. You, you have not grown up in the swamp. There's a lot uh, of noises. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of noises. Uh, a lot of weird noises, too. A lot of gurgling, some bullfrogs. Uh, Bud, why, sir? Uh, but nothing encroaches on your camp. Did you guys set up a campfire or anything, or are you doing cold camp? Dear God, there has to be fire. Uh, Low fire. Okay. Low fire, yeah. Uh, wake up, Brother Cup. Brother Cup, your turn, D12. Right. Uh, D12, D12, D12. That's that one. Uh, that's an eight. Uh, there is something creeping around camp and it is creeping around to your south to the south mm -hmm. downstream do you, do you have uh dark vision nope uh, then you have no idea what lays outside uh wrong ring of fire I raise my mace and I touch it, casting light on the head of my mace and raise it up as a torch. Yeah. Uh, Statue of Liberty, how far does that go? 60 feet. You still have no idea yeah. what's out there. So there is bright light for 60 feet. Oh, it's so bright. Uh, ad, ad hoc oh, and man. Crow and Crendor are probably like, uh, 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 who I turned the light on? Uh, <laughs> put a blanket over it. Not a goddamn vampire. Um, <laughs> you can head out of camp south to see if you can see what it is. I'll I'll step out just out of camp like fifteen feet. 
to see if I can get any either idea of movement or anything out there. D12. Absolutely. Uh, that is a 12. We roll. That is also a 12. Uh, you catch a fleeing creature uh, four feet uh, moves through the brush at a high rate of speed. Uh, you also hear more noise to the east and more noise to the south as if there are three of these creatures. Hmm. Okay, I'll make my way back to the fire. Okay. Uh, I will extinguish the light of my mace and <clears throat> only use the low fire light, but I'll keep very alert and I'll uh, get in my sack and rummage out my little pot and warm some water for tea. Sure. Uh, dawn breaks without issue. By that time, I should have some soup on for everybody and maybe some biscuits if I'm lucky. Yum. Um, Ooh, did, did you have that shit in jail? <laughs> it's in my bag. It's in my bag. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, uh, Brother Cup makes breakfast. Everybody roll Constitution. Uh, right. See how they like it. Ah, uh, 20. Oh, thank um, God. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for having breakfast. I, I just needed it this morning. Manara I figured everyone was a bit tired. Nice. Uh, Crow enjoys it. 22. Ad hoc's got a 19. Loves it. Nice. Uh, well done, Brother Cup. You have cooked. Everybody is at full strength. As all your spell slots back, all your uh, rages back, so you're in good shape. Uh, Minara, uh, after eating her fill, says, are we ready to go? Oh, yes. Yes, we are feeling rather rejuvenated now. He inquires as to why you guys are out here in the first place. Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> uh, well, we were... something to do with dams yeah yes yes yeah damn thing uh what 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 are the dams uh they are things that block the flow of water in the river uh, did you guys build them uh nope nope no, we did quite, quite the, opposite. the opposite of that. <laughs> why 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 did you break them? Well, <laughs> they were hmm. I don't actually, I don't quite remember why we broke them. Well, I, I, the water levels were dropping spring. downstream yes, and it was uh, yeah, that's, homeland. Yeah. And um well, we were asked to um investigate the the loss of well, I don't know. I was in jail at the time, but um Coda could explain. <laughs> uh, Coda starts a long-winded Australian draw, puts much the shrimp better. on the Barbie, and, and starts waltzing uh, Matilda. He has to excuse himself because the five he rolled on Constitution did not agree with him, and he believes he has to run. Oof. There you oh. go. That's why you don't have kids when you're in campaign, because I get to make fun of you. You've got to run. You know. Coda's got the runs. Oh, no. Well, these we don't fine have any folks. toilet paper at all. No, he found himself a nice patch of poison ivy. If oh, I roll. There we go. oh, oh no. That is oh, so no. sad. He's <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, uh, Coda. Oh. Uh, wow. Is that I'm a not one? wasting a lesser That's restoration a on that. It's a one or baby. <laughs> wow. Uh, Coda now has poison ivy and the runs. I love <sighs> my dice. One is the Poison number. Ivy takes lesser restoration to remove, right? Cure condition. Yeah, yeah I think so. You want to save that? You might. It's need not a disease. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I'm not waiting. I'm not wasting greater lesser restoration on his itch. Coda <laughs> now walks like an old timey cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Bow legged dwarf. <sighs> and he is in no mood to talk to any of you fuckers for not remembering <laughs> to bring the Charmin. So <laughs> Coda is taking a backseat for the rest of the game. Oh. Uh, bombadilla, bombadilla. Uh, and they're soaking Manara, his cheeks in the river. <laughs> Manara listens to uh, your story and, and she appreciates the information. Uh, and she starts looking around, hoping, as she says, uh, to spot her friends. Um, so yeah. So what do you know about all these beavers then? 
I beg your pardon? <laughs> Inquiring minds there were, want to know, dear. There were do you giant know about them? fever oh, like humanoids oh, that, that oh, oh, were constructing they, dams. The humanoids. Oh, yes. Uh, what were uh, you thinking of? Yeah. Uh, the the uh, Royal Order of Beavers is a fraternity. Uh, they get weird. Um, I, no, sounds, I, sounds. I, 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 all the beavers that I, I have ever heard of come from the north. Well, they've come down from the north and they're <laughs> building dams on the river. Oh, that's, that could be a problem. Um, they seem to have human slaves. I hope they weren't any, yeah, they were building the dam for them. They were controlling them. There were some whips involved. It got very, very exciting. But luckily, we were there. And that kind of thing. Well, I, I, I thought I, you said I it was kinky. I don't kink shame anyone. I've seen <laughs> lots of my many years on this earth, and I know that people are into certain things and others aren't. And so that's just, you know, let teach their own, as we say. It's a little saying we have in Zedo. But uh, anyway, the, um, yeah, they were making them build the dams for some sort of nefarious purpose. And, uh, these these fine folks have been sent to intervene, and now I have gone as their unwary guide. She uh, she sidles up next to you and takes you by the arm and says, "Oh my! Don't worry, my new friend. I will protect you for you protecting me, uh, and you guys can walk arm in arm." Uh, so she's looking for that sugar daddy you, moment. I know. Oh yeah. man! Moment of Max turn. It's gonna be Gramps gone wild. You are. <laughs> yeah, bad Grandpa, bad Grandpa. I think Cuts Blair has gonna blessed scratch us his head all. and wonder. Uh, so you guys had uh, four hours. Uh, the heat of the sun is starting to uh, kind of starting to weigh heavy on you. Uh, one person, give me an investigation. Oh. Uh, one person not that. cup. Right. Steve is here. My investigation is terrible, but I'll do it. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> no, not oh, me. Steve. I'm terrified. Nat 20. Ooh, 26. There we go. <laughs> you, you find a trail. Oh. That's investigating the fuck out of it. Okay. Uh, uh, Crow signals uh, to the group and points out uh, there is a trail, apparently. So. It seems to go in a diagonal. Okay. Uh, it heads. It, you can't really tell which way the traffic's going, uh, but it looks like a diagonal, possibly back towards the water line. Okay. Uh, so I uh, asked the group, uh, shall we follow? Pick a direction to follow the trail? Or Did anybody notice anything strange on their watch last night? I was ever um, vigilant and didn't notice it. any. No, no, I took a watch. I didn't see anything out of ordinary when my turn. But I'm well, only one person. There were there were three or four little somethings running around in the bush, but um, they didn't really do anything. So I uh, just kept an eye out and made breakfast for everyone. Mm -hmm. Ad hoc, give me a uh, history check, please. Okay. Oh boy, this is going to be a two. Plus zero. That's a two. I mean, ad, hoc, sure. ad hoc cannot give any information about this issue. Does the trail look like it would be caused by these three creepy creatures in the night? Or? It, no, it does not. It looks like it's been trampled uh, high grass by more than three. Mm. But it could be a it could be a herd trail. You aren't sure. Ooh. Okay. That could be good. We could fight dried dung. Dried dung is great fuel for fires. Oh. We'll let you, you collect that. <laughs> you got the old guy hitting on the young cleric. We got the other cleric picking up poop, and we've got uh, the other cleric uh, walking uh, gingerly as the poison ivy rakes through his buttock region. Uh. You know, he's a paladin. It's too bad poison ivy is not a disease or he'd be immune to it. Oh. <laughs> wow, his that is junk true. is just huge by now. That's right. <laughs> well, according it's to like him, it always was. Right. Yeah, well, you know. 
that swells up with the irritation. That's the what part. looks like a pair. Of... <laughs> that's that's shit, what causes that, the swelling. That shit, is, that shit is not cool to get there. I will, <laughs> I will say that unequivocally. Oh man. I did not oh, man. go. Uh, <laughs> and then he took pictures and it's like, just give me something for this. Wow. Please give me the spray on lidocaine now. Yeah, and the steroid <laughs> shot. <laughs> they they did not. They gave me the uh, Z pack. Oh, so man. what you're saying is you're in a medical book somewhere? Is that what you're telling us? <laughs> Probably. I, I, am, I am sure I am on a medical book. That guy was nice. astonished. And I'm wow. Like, yeah. I, Frank, I Frank doesn't want anybody to know, but he was the truck nut model. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you look under weird rashy elephantitis, that's uh, that was me. <laughs> I was not happy with it because he just kept poking at it. Does that oh. hurt? Does that hurt? I'm going to break your fucking fingers. Stop touching that. Right. Jesus. So anyway, uh, so yeah, you guys are going. It's about noon. So you guys can stop and, you know, eat your granola bars and have your insurer ad hoc. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, but yeah, or and you can take the trail high north or low south. Or continue along, uh, which, because of his history check, <clears throat> you assume you're on the right trail to get to this town. Uh, what what do I call it? Shades. Uh, you assume you're on track to get to Shades. Uh, the, the cleric has not said, hi, bye, kiss my ass, so you can assume that... She, likes, the right she likes your direction, or she's so overcome by ad hoc's uh, elder sensuality I that she doesn't care. Uh, I mean, uh, who could blame her, really? That's... What's your charisma? Uh, actually, my charisma is an 18. Yeah, oh, he's a okay. sorcerer. A that's sorcerer. Right. <laughs> right. So, you know, smooth he's, operator. He's, he's rocking it. He looks like George Papard in the early oh, days. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. 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 You, you go get him, Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it when a plan comes together. Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, you have your choice. High north, low south, continue straight. Well, I'll defer to the party's judgment on this. Uh, uh, Crow votes for high north, but I, you know, that's just the scout and Crow. So, it's always worked before. <laughs> I'm happy I mean, with that. I mean, it's in the direction of shades, so you know. It is. Not in it, then in north, have you, and then. Have, have you been to shades? No. Does it I take ask. us into the, into the? Does it take us into the direction of the warm bosom embrace of shades, or no? Uh, your history warm check. It was a little shady. Embrace. Oh yeah, so yeah, shades. I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Manara, you're not saying anything. So you uh, may yeah. assume that she would pipe up. Okay. All right. We're doing so. really well, everyone. Uh, you pass your arm. Yes, we are. <laughs> wow. So <laughs> to the north, no, north. Then. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Uh, she, you know what? She even gives you a little. Uh, Copping a feel on you there, ad hoc. Well, wow, wow. <laughs> I do a little bit of a little bit of a flex. It kind of hangs down instead of going uh, up. <laughs> oh, you ever, you ever see anything <laughs> right. like that? Yeah, exactly. Just kind of doing that. Yeah. Ever yeah. seen Granddad Bod? <laughs> <laughs> on the topical graphical map of uh, dunes. <laughs> uh, so you guys are taking the trail. Uh, oh, sure, sure. Let's, yeah, let's do it. Cool. Let's Crow's, do it. Crow's taking point, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Crow will take yeah. point. I'll, I'll be right behind Crow. It's uh, it's still the swamp. Uh, a lot of mosquitoes. Oh, none, it's just like, like home. Yeah, none gigantic, so you're good there. Every once in a while, you step in a wet spot. Uh, you know, have to stop, empty out your boot, etc. <clears throat> Why I wear sandals? You travel. Okay, Jesus. Uh, you travel one more hour, and uh, everybody perception check. 
boots aren't very swamp appropriate. Fifteen. Uh, mm, perception. Uh, Nineteen. Seven. Uh, fifteen plus seven, so twenty-two. Uh, there's something moving around in here. Oh, okay. I halt the party. <laughs> Each and every one of you, spears or javelins, crendor. Ooh. Uh, eight uh-huh. plus four, 12. I assume 12 misses you. Yes, it misses. Uh, Brother Cup. 11 plus four, 15. I assume that's that, that miss. misses me. Uh, and and bro- now that there are javelins, I'm also going to pull my shield around and uh, make it even harder to hit me. Throw that's a six and add hot. Uh, 10 plus 4, 14. I assume that misses. Oh, 14 hits right? me. Exactly. Oh, spell slots back. <laughs> uh, Javelin D6. Uh, 4 plus 1, 5. As a message comes in for you, sir. The Javelins came from either side of this trail. There are four of them. A guttural yell is heard. And lizard folk uh, exit on both sides. Time for oh, initiative. Gosh. Oh, oh. I am not a fan of lizard folk. You're racist. I'm not unless I'm playing them. I, I rolled a good cleric <laughs> initiative. Fifteen. Oh God. Nine. God, my purple dice are hot tonight. Twenty, so twenty-five. And ad hoc. Ten. Uh, everybody beats me. Uh, start with oh, twenty. Good. Uh, Crow, there are five lizard folk. Uh, the fifth one is going to go after. Uh, there's five of you with Cleric. Is my die. Deuce, uh, Brother Cup, you got two on you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Crow, you're up. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, loose an arrow towards uh, one that's headed for for Brother Cup. So. Okay. 15 is your magic number to hit these things. 16. Arrow goes in. Okay. Arrow does not come out. Uh, <laughs> eight points. Piercing damage. Mm-mm-mm. Odd. Eight points. Fair enough. Uh, Can I take a bonus action to <clears throat> knock another arrow yeah, to be fun. ready? Okay. Yeah. All right. uh, 15, Crendor, you're up. So I'm going to rage. Okay. And nice. I will use... Um, how far away are they? They are closing, so they're going to be in melee range. So I'll use my great axe. Uh, 14. Ew, rings off Damn their it. natural scales. Ten ad hoc. Mm, well, I don't like this one bit. I'm going to gesture out with my hands, and I'm going to do a ray of frost to one of the ones who's coming in towards me. Cool, d12 against me first. I can do that. Eleven. Uh, six. Uh, as you loose your uh, ray of frost, uh, Madara grabs a hold of you. Oh, help me, I'm scared. Uh, so <laughs> you are going to roll at minus two, lover boy. Oh, don't worry, baby. I've got this. <laughs> at a, oh, boy. At a minus two. Okay, so maybe I don't got this. Um, it's going to be a uh, 12 total. Uh, that's a miss. Pew! Okay. It goes shooting off. Uh, nine. Brother Cup, you have two coming at you. One of them has an arrow in it. Okay, well, um, the first thing I'm going to do is, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast uh, the first level spell, Shield of Faith, and pointing, say, Cheskin, preserve you, Crindor Sue. And she's going to have bonus of plus two to her armor class for oh. the following ten minutes. Nice. Cool. Um, nice. And, and then I'm going to bury my face in, my uh, mace in the face of the nearest lizard man. I wasn't sure where that one was going. Uh, I, yeah, <laughs> I had an eyebrow go up too. 
I thought you were ad hoc for a second. Yeah. <laughs> so don't steal my bit here. No. <laughs> nope. I Fist summoned to motor <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. uh, 17 to hit. Yep. And uh, holy crap, I've forgotten what damage my mace did. Uh, okay. Oh, actually, okay, that, that would have been actually a 21 to hit, so... Uh, it doesn't matter. They're... Die. Ooh, there it's, a, it's a murder hobo. Uh, D6. Oh, yeah. That's a murder hobo plus two is eight points of bludgeoning damage right in the face. Uh, the one with the arrow or the other one? Oh, the one with the arrow. Let's say he got there quick. Mm-hmm. Or he looked more like my type. So I am going to... I'm just going to bite. Uh, Crendor. Uh, three plus four. Uh, ten plus four on Brother Cup. Uh, thirteen plus four, seventeen on Crow. Uh, seventeen on Crow. Is he moving towards me, like ending his turn within five feet of me? Because if so, I'm going to use a reaction. I'm going to skirmish and cha cha uh, slide half my movement out the way. Nice. <laughs> Uh, six plus four is ten. Brother Cup. The, the other one, one is vines come up and wrap themselves around you. I'm gonna need a saving throw. Rounds me. Yep. As Which as saving throw? Which one? Like? Not sure yet. I think it's probably strength. It's not my best. Uh, uh, uh. Wisdom or charisma would be nice. Strength check. Damn it. Uh, that's a 20. 18 plus 2. Uh, you stomp on all those little thorns, and you are not restricted with your movement. New round, round 2. A crow, you are up. Okay. Since I moved 15 feet, I know a caster there any... when I see one. Uh, uh, that's, that's enough distance to shoot another arrow, isn't it? If I move 15 feet out of the way? Okay. Yep, I'm going to do that. And uh, 18 to hit. And who are you aiming for this time? Uh, The one that uh, tried to bite me. Okay, yep. 18 hits. Okay. Uh, And, uh, yeah, that'll hit him for 7 piercing damage. Got it. Uh, 15, Krendor Sue. You're up. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. I am. Fifteen? That does hit. Okay, so, let's see. One, twelve plus three. (laughs) Eight. Eight slashing damage. Nice. Uh, Ten. Uh, Ad hoc. D12 against me. Okay. Uh, six. Uh, nine. She is still hanging on for dear life. Okay. Well, I'm going to take my quarter staff and I slam it into the ground, and there's going to be three little balls of fire that scorch out, three little rays <clears> that <throat> shoot out towards three different enemies within range. I want to try to end this before it gets any further out of control. Uh, do I have a six, negative? Six, a this? 12, and a 19, if there's a save. Oh, no, these are attack rolls. Oh, okay. Do I have a negative? Two to this too, or yep, she's she's a leech. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so including the minus two, the one is going to be twenty-two. The next one's going to be fourteen, and the last one's going to be seventeen. Uh, two hit. The middle one does not. Okay, so I had one going to three different one for each of three different guys. So basically, I will assume the first one went after yours. Uh, yes. The other two you can choose, or I can roll. Uh, let's just let's just roll. That's kind of how ad hoc rolls. Man, he just kind of goes goes balls and sees what happens. I'll use a d6 since there's three other targets. Okay. Uh, four, one, two, three, four. One of Brother Cups. Odd even. Even the one that is uninjured. Uh, the other one. Six. Uh, crow. Uh, but you missed. In the middle one, so Brother Cups 
is uninjured. So you hit yours and you hit crows. Perfect. Nice. Okay. The one in front of me is going to take, uh, it's going to be nine. Okay. And the one by my companion is going to be seven. Got it. Uh, nine. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, um, might as well save on that. But uh, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon and then hit the unwounded one that casts spells with that sure. as my bonus action. That would be uh, so I got to make a spell attack. Uh, that is an 18 plus 7 is 25. And uh, then I have to make. Hold on a second. You aren't using the. You have to summon the spiritual weapon first, right? Uh, create a floating spiritual spectral weapon when cast. Make a melee spell attack against that, a creature within five feet of the weapon. Okay, that takes that, one. That's that's not your bonus action, though, right? That's your actual attack. That's my actual attack. That's my action. There's you're, there's you're, no. Okay, you know, in good. the future, I can do it as a bonus action. Gotcha. Uh, but right now, I get to roll one d eight plus seven <laughs> uh, that is going caster. to be three ten against the spellcaster of force damage Ten, got it uh my turn uh on bite even javelin crandora that's gonna bite uh seven plus four is eleven i doubt that uh odd bite brother four i got plus two Three, yeah, but the other one's not going to bite. Uh, ooh, even on Crow. Okay. 19 plus four, that'll be a hit. Uh, is he uh, javelin me or trying to bite yeah, me? Javelin. Okay. Odd, a bite. Uh, 14 doesn't get you, does it, ad hoc? Or it does? 14 hits me exactly, yep. Ouch. Let's get However, I can use my reaction to cast shield, and I'll do that. So you could use that cleric as a shield. I could. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna True. instinctively flick my staff, and a shield uh, made out of energy kind of ripples across in front of me, giving me a plus five to my AC, which makes my AC temporarily nineteen for that specific attack. But sure, that'll, spell slot well. that'll dodge it. Uh, crow. Uh, three plus two is five. Okay. Uh, are you wearing metal, brother? Cup. Indeed. It's oh, no. getting hot. <laughs> it's getting, it's hot, getting hot, in hot in here. It's getting <laughs> hot in here. New round, round three. Crow, you're up. Okay. Uh, uh yep. Uh, uh, Crow's gonna uh loose an arrow back at javelin guy. Sure. So. Uh, eighteen to hit. Uh, yes, eighteen hits. And uh, uh, eight piercing damage uh, 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 that is enough to put that one down uh brother cup uh yes. 12 heat damage that first round that's good <laughs> if you say so uh crendor you're up still raging Still plus two to your armor class. Uh, let's see. 22? Yeah, that is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll go with my great axe again. <laughs> so. Uh, 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 14. Down it goes as well. Uh, just yeah. barely. Uh, ten. Uh, ad hoc. You gotta get this bitch off your arm, man. Just a moment, darling. And I try to push her off out of the way. She steps off. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take the guy who was the closest to me. I'm just going to unleash a magic missile right to his face. Sure. It's point blank. So, uh, so <clears throat> three darts coming at him. Me splatter damage. Five. Uh, two. Seven plus three is going to be ten points of force damage. Still alive. 
Uh, nine, Brother Cup. Well, like, I'm kind of pissed at this dude heating me up like that, so I'm going to step over and attack him. You start to move like you're on a carousel and hear a low hum. <laughs> uh, right here. Okay. Uh, does a 17 hit him? It does. <clears throat> I'm going to be casting Inflict Wounds at second level again. This is the spellcaster, correct? Uh huh. Okay. That's 10, 23, 27 points of necrotic damage. 37 total. Fair enough. Uh, my turn. Odd uh, even. No, wait a minute. Uh, he may have to make a save against concentration, doesn't he? He's heating metal. Another 19. Damn. Uh, so nobody on Crendor. Your regular one. Uh, even. It's going to oh. javel in your ass. I should have remembered to bang him with the spiritual oven, but I didn't. 12 plus 4, 16. Uh, not going to hit me with my shield up. Gotcha. Uh, ooh, as a bonus action, it's going to keep heating your ass. Oh. Uh, seven, and it retreats. Uh, takes seven heat damage. Uh, okay. Crow, yours is dead, and uh, ad hoc. Even. Ooh, 19 again. Uh, the javelin gets you this time, uh, and you hear you hear a shriek. Oh, are you okay? Oh, uh, <laughs> five damage. Uh, oh. Maybe she could lend a hand or something. Uh, new round, round four. The little like yeah. giving yeah. these yeah. Uh, yeah. folks a hard time. Uh, Crendor, <laughs> or not Crendor? My bad. Crow, you're up. Okay, uh, one spleen. Uh, not fleeing. Stepping oh, back. Stepping back. Okay. Um. Yeah. Disen that... Disengaging, if you will. Okay. Yeah. Well. I can still attack, though, right? With an arrow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yep. I am. Yep. Gonna loose one at him. Twenty-four to hit. Mm -hmm. And that will be. <laughs> I rolled them. One so seven oh. points damage, oh, man. piercing damage. Nice. <laughs> yep. Fifteen Crendor. Still going ape shit. Who do you want to go after? So who do we have left? You have two on Brother Cup. Uh, one has stepped back. You have Not one on Ad Hoc, and uh, his lovely lady is watching him adoringly. Um, I will go after brother cups he's he's fighting like this only <laughs> <laughs> yeah <clears throat> okay i will protect my lady <laughs> uh 15 who are you going after brother cups uh brother cups regular one or the one that stepped back the regular one you hit okay Uh, 13 <laughs> slashing. Uh, 13 puts him down as well. You're like Burt Reynolds. Give me somebody to hit. Uh, yep. and, uh, ad hoc. I said, Not today, my good man. I'm going to gesture and snap my fingers, and I create a blade ward around myself, and I trace a sig sigil in the air, and now I have resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage dealt by, we dealt by weapon attacks. For the remainder of the round. But is that just you? Does it include your girlfriend? It is self only, alas. D20, one or two, she's a little bit close to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, 16. She is not close enough to you. You seductively tear open her robes, revealing under boob or something. Why would you do that? <laughs> He did it on purpose. Nine. It was great on the front of a book. Uh, well, in that <laughs> case, I'm going to direct with my bonus action the spiritual weapon to gong the dude. 
the uh, caster dude. Spellcaster? Gotcha. Yeah. He's the only one that exists to me. Uh, Actually, that's he, fifth. He's the only one that exists. 15 to hit? <laughs> no. No. Okay, in that case, I'm going to hit him with my guiding bolt. Okay. Oh, kitty. Uh, 26 to hit? Oh, yeah. Um, okay, where's my D6s? <laughs> Oh, two murder hobos and a nickel. That's 17 points of, uh, I believe it is, radiant damage. Yep. And until the end of my next turn, uh, the next attack against him before the end of my next turn has advantage. Cool. Uh, your armor is no longer hot, and a cloud of fog descends upon the battlefield. I know what this means. Mm hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> Top yes, of the sure. order, crow. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I don't have. Uh, I'm just gonna take a guess where I last saw him and fire a shot. Sure. Okay. At disadvantage, right? <laughs> oh yeah. He, he actually okay. glows. Oh, okay. That helps. In the fog. Yeah, the, gui the guiding Crow bolt makes him glow. Crow okay. is 15 feet back the other way. Uh, disadvantage, no shit, 20 to hit. So, nice. Um, let's see. Little better this time on the roll. <laughs> uh, three plus six, nine points piercing damage. Fair enough. Crendor? Uh, you don't know what the hell's going on. There's just fog everywhere. You can hear uh, Minyara, help, help, Ad hoc, help me. Oh. You're the only one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so I can see nothing. You can't see shit. How's it feel on the other foot? <laughs> right there, <laughs> Those of you who don't watch Cacophony, that is her favorite spell. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Uh -huh. Cause chaos. Throw fog cloud. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to sit down. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, Fuck this shit. Ad hoc, you can hear Manyara. Help me. Help me, Obi Wan. You're my only hope. Oh, me, why? Yeah. What? Uh, and, and don't Krendor forget, you still have the blade. Fuck you, shit going bitch. On. <laughs> yeah, so the, uh, yeah, the blade ward kind of dissipates now. It only lasts for a round, unfortunately. Now, keep in mind, mm -hmm. there's you still have one on you. Oh, yes. I, I made the mistake of scratching it out, and he still has at oh, least four hit points. Yeah, he's still there. I'm going to, in the in the fog and the, the haze, the kind of bedlam that's starting boobs. to spruce. Oh, well, uh, maybe later, maybe later. Um, I'm going to actually reach out and actually grab this guy. I'm going to grab onto his oh. leg, give him a squeeze. I'm going to cast Shocking Grasp. Lightning yeah. springs from my hand. You know, it's a shock leg. attack. Does yeah. he have a metal on, perhaps? Uh, no, just scales. So you okay. will attack at disadvantage. Unless I was trying to balance that out because if he has metal on, it's an it's advantage, but no. Okay, with disadvantage, that's going to be a 20, a 14, plus 6. Will be a d6. I can do that. A 1. Oh, you, you reach out and grab him by the snout. Oh, <laughs> I got your nose. He's kind, of, <laughs> he's kind of dipping down when the fog cloud hits, so you were reaching for his leg, but... Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Well, better his nose than something four. else by his leg. Yeah. <laughs> he takes one d8 lightning damage. Yeah, right. He takes one d8 lightning damage, so he takes seven points of lightning damage as the shocking oh. grass rips through him. Strangely enough, at your touch, you feel him go limp. <laughs> uh, Not everyone can uh, appreciate my, my deeds here, brother Cup. Uh, you're up. Uh, well. I don't know what else I can do. I'm going to try and swing my spiritual weapon where I think he might have been last. Sure. Disadvantage? Yep. Why? Why? Uh, no, unfortunately, uh, it's a 19 at disadvantage. Yeah, that is. 
Our and dice are on fire tonight, guys. Where's my D8? <laughs> Yours are. <laughs> no, right, yeah. Well, you uh, got three. It's uh, 13 <laughs> points of oh, oh, yeah. force fog, damage. The fog cloud dissipates. Uh, the body is littered. You can still see electricity floating through the eyeballs of Ad Hoc's victim uh, as he becomes Skeletor. Gross. He has no power. And she swoons. You are magnificent. Wow. At which point I will fall on my face. Uh, and then uh, she asks if anybody needs healed. I believe uh, Brother Cup does. Uh, when our healer is down, we have to remedy that immediately. I will return the favor. Uh, the castings of uh, Blair. Don't like you. Take three hit points back. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a stingy a fucking... Brings God. me back to half health. <laughs> 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 um she tried uh could we could we spare 10 minutes here spare as long as you want of course yeah of, of course, course. She, she are, are, you hurt? are you hurt are you hurt are you okay oh, that was I'm, harrowing it was but this is the way this is the path the heroes must this tread this is the this way way. <laughs> the way does she have uh, daddy issues I'm thinking uh, a, a short rest to spend does. some hit dice would be nice. Yeah. If we can uh, spare she, a short she, rest. She she can actually channel divinity and uh, heal heal you for ten points if you'd like. Oh. Well, you know what? Ad hoc, are you okay? I forgot about that too. Well, I am feeling a bit down, but Brother Cup is a fellow You're healer and a man of the gods. So I will refill myself from her. She'll, she'll she she got it. me close enough. She got me she'll, close enough. Okay. I'm good. Uh, she'll, she'll give you 10 points of the heal and touch. I will. Nice. <laughs> I'll channel a little divinity of my own to top up. Sure. Little ch- little prayer to Cheskin. Where's there? After that, uh, she's going to walk over to the spellcaster and check him out. Do you see anything important? Well, there's this, and it's a it's a small gem, uh, semi precious stone. Uh, call it uh, Torlamine or something. Uh, not anything major. Uh, and she gives it to you for protecting her. Of course. Oh well. Okay. I uh, I, you know, how's the saying go? Uh, <laughs> action is the reward, darling. I don't need. <laughs> Money, <laughs> goods, I uh, whatever. What's this? What's the Spider Man saying about that? What is that? It's uh, I don't do comedy. Action is his reward. Is that what it is? That's Spider Man song. I uh, think so. I don't uh, know so. anything about that stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't need it, darling. Fine. We can go ahead, we can give it to my companions. You they can have just a show me fun. physically how appreciative <laughs> you are. <laughs> So, uh, what are you saying? Is a hand job go a long way? <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing like requesting a hand job in Mickey Mouse's voice. No, I think a blowjob is better. Uh, oh boy! Oh, oh boy! Mickey likes those. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's why I wear gloves. <laughs> this kid's a mess. Oh uh, my! Oh so my I, God! Uh, you guys take your ten minutes. Uh, she has delivered a stone to her protector, whatever. Okay. Uh, you guys can continue north by northeast, uh, or how about north by northwest? That was a sure. movie. That would take you back, though. I'm kidding. I don't want to go back. You can go south southwest and watch shitty movies in Austin. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, it's up to you guys. You to go, go you south go. by southeast and end up in Miami. Ugh. No. I understand you can meet uh, Gloria Estefan there. She's the uh, mayor. I've never been to Miami. It is you guys think that I'm deplorable. You don't want to go to Florida shit now. <laughs> Shithole is a really good description there, Frank. Yeah. If you Google a uh, Floridian oh. 5V stat block, it's there. It's okay. Yeah. Not bright, kidding. It's a bright pastel shithole. 
Yeah, it is. A, By the way, muggy, muggy, bright pastel shithole. It is horrific, and it's got a smell. Anyway, uh, which direction did you guys want to go? Uh, the way we were going, wasn't it right? Northwest? Northeast. Uh, yes, oh, northeast. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, ad hoc uh, manana. <laughs> Uh, says, Asta. Uh, has uh, I, 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 we aren't going towards the shades. We're not. Uh, You're not talking to you. Shut the fuck up. Well, <laughs> I will. I have elf hearing. You know, I will be sure to steer my companions on the right path. I believe it might be appropriate as if you could perhaps give us <coughs> reminders and tips about the way to go. You know the path much better than we. So if you could perhaps say, oh, wait a minute, let's go this way, let's go that way. Uh, I will make sure the good word is put in for you. I, I understand your people. I understand that Shades oh, is an our ally people. To us. Our people. Is that what you call our people? Well, what I mean is I, the people of Shades, the people of your faith, I know that you are friends to the Zeno. Although we have had a split in the past, due to the fact that our trade hasn't exactly been as fruitful as we would like, but it's always a perfect time for a new beginning. Perhaps we could merge together. Bring our two houses together, as one (laughs) says. But we can discuss that later. Uh, Um, Some some kind kind of diplomat. But yes, if we could, yeah, if you have any sort of input, we will gladly, gladly accept it. All right. Back. Everyone, I believe, I'll say turning to the group, I believe that my memory serves that perhaps we should be going this way. I'll give her a wink. Mm. And a smack she'll, on the ass. She'll swoon appropriately at that kind of charisma. Wow. Really? <laughs> Man, what is she, 16? <laughs> Well, he's like 180 or something. Well, I know, but seriously. How old How old is Ad Hoc? That's a great question. Uh, how old do Dragonborn get? Um, I'm picturing him like that. They, they have a lifespan similar to Either humans. way, I hope she enjoys yeah. fine dining at Piccadilly or something he's, like that. <laughs> he's, in like his, he's like his late 70s, I'd say. Oh, there the you early go. bird special. Yeah, right. uh, yeah they're going to do the dinner deli. by four. <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, she'll do the deli, all right. Uh, she got she kind of, uh, courtesy of Ad Hoc. He's he's kind of pointing you back towards the right direction. Uh, Ad Hoc, give me a history roll. Yeah, I hope I do a little bit better this time. Uh, fourteen plus uh, just uh, fourteen. Uh, yeah, you guys are way off. <laughs> now oh. that she's reminded you. Yes, it's too bad I was not paying better attention. Mm, you were looking at her boobs. Thanks. We're looking at the grass, less looking at the ass. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so you guys get turned around. <laughs> Never uh, mind. Uh, Crow, give me a D4. Okay. I was going to say, ass, grass, or <laughs> uh, gas. Nobody rides for free. Exactly. A, a D4. Yep. Okay. That is a two. Two hours later, uh, there is no trail here. Uh, you guys are walking through, and you hear the snuffling of pigs in the high grass hmm. and the swampland. Uh, hmm. It's going to be giant boar, as in, oh my god, I'm going to bore you with another assault. On- they make great bacon yep. strips, pork I chops, think- perhaps. I think Initiative. we need to kill her. Oh, why would we do right, that? Because there's pigs. It's yeah, not yeah. every day I come across a stage five clinger. Can you please <laughs> just slow your roll on trying to get rid of her? <laughs> oh, you're trying to get rid of her? No, 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 you no, 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 no. Slow your roll on getting rid of her. Oh, okay. Ad hoc hasn't seen a lady in, I don't know, three decades. <laughs> it has been some there's time. A, my my hermitage class. has left me rather lonely on some nights. <laughs> not to understand. Initiative, everybody. Oh, damn. Uh, damn. All right. Ooh, Ooh natural 20. 20. Uh, two 20s. Oh, uh, so the God. 21 total for me. 17 for Cup. 16 for Crow. I got a six, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, two giant boar clear the uh, swampy mess uh, with the. Let's see how many pigments they got. 
four piglets behind him. Uh, <laughs> ad hoc, you and Trendor, the 20 plus. So you guys going to attack the same one or different ones? I'm going to scream, bacon! And I'm going to shoot a scorching wow. ray at them. Nice. <laughs> so Trendor, I'm going to do three uh, different bolts. I'm going to try to take out the big ones. Because sure. there's two big ones and then three little ones, correct? Four little ones. Four little ones. I'm going to shoot at the big ones. I'm so not a we're monster. we're killing babies? No, no, no this, I'm not a monster. This, this, this I'm going to kill a the... giant boar out there yeah. with their kids on a picnic. Yeah. And you fucking murder hobos walk up to each other. Big kids! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. It's in the show title, Frank. I'm sorry. <laughs> child, child, <laughs> it uh, is. Child Boar Protective Services is going to be all over ad hoc. <laughs> Wait, he finds out his girlfriend's a vegan. Go ahead, Ad Hoc. <laughs> All righty. Well, these attack rolls are kind of low, unfortunately. So we've got a 13, Hit. a 15, Hit. and a 10. Yes. 12 is your magic number. So two okay. out of three is. Oh, Scorching Ray is going to be 2d6, right? Yeah, 2d6 fire damage. All right. So the first little piggy that's coming to market is going to take, oh, just three. That's hey, not you know what fun. this makes me think of? What's that? The Walking Dead prison episode with the pigs. Nice. Uh, Ad hoc, are you going to have the same water or share the well? I'm going to hit the the two adults, basically. So the first one, I got the three. The second one's going to get 11 because there's a murder hobo and a five. Nice. Uh, Krindor, both of the adult piglets are injured. Uh, The four start to squeal. Oh, no, mom, dad. Oh, no, mom, dad. If you could speak giant boar. Uh, Uh, Crendor, what do you want to do? Wow. Wow. So, (laughs) damn it. Make, make. (laughs) Make those piglets orphans. Then we'll have some ham. (laughs) You guys are assholes. (laughs) Okay, let's kill mom and dad. <laughs> well, I still can have pet pigs. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to let the four piglets go so they can swear revenge. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> What are you That'd talking about? Gra- Let them go. That's portable food. That's it a great adventure itself. for one of the one shot nights right there. Where four piglets got to avenge our parents. <laughs> you guys are you guys are in a hut made of sticks. There's four piglets. Oh great. Arnold Ziffer is or what was Arnold Ziffles out there? Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Oh. That was a. They swear to their pig god they will have revenge. Eighteen. <laughs> that is. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Uh, and ad hoc, you are going to roll against me to see if she's a vegan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's that's right now. Or... <laughs> yeah, we'll wait. So that's a six. Uh, damage. Yep. I'll give you odd or even. Uh, nine odd. Nine. Uh, Seventeen. Uh, brother Cup. Uh, yeah. Slaughter on the Orient Express. <laughs> really? Oh, man. This is how Princess Mononoke started. You know, right. you saw that movie. <laughs> exactly. It's like, this is crazy. Uh, but, you know, make Daddy Boar take a deck save, please. <laughs> I'm going to cast Sacred Flame. Oh, beautiful. Radiance yeah. descends. That's not going to do it. Radiance descends from above him and he takes seven points of radiant damage. Respectable. <laughs> How much? That kind of sears the hair off so that when we get to that point, we don't have to do that. That's it. Got a nice brisket starting up right now. Wow. Okay, Crow, you're up. Hey. <laughs> okay. Oh, Crow's going to hit him with an arrow. Um, oh, no. I'm stepping behind a tree, by the way, just in case. <laughs> just in case. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. That 20. Ooh. On that. So that's going to be a whopping 11 points piercing damage. Odd. Nice. Odd. Not in good shape. Okay, Ad Hoc. D12 against me. Okay. Oh, a oneer right there, my friend. 
She's a vegan bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to lose points there. Uh, the parental units are enraged. Uh, snort out something that sounds like retreat, and the four piglets start running for the hills. Uh, Daddy is going to go after one, Crendor. Uh, Ten plus three, thirteen, I'm assuming that's a miss. Uh, and Brother Cup is the other attack from Mama. Uh, Mama ain't happy. That's a seventeen. Ooh. Uh, yeah, my 18 should take that. Okay. Uh, you take no damage then. Round two for the giant boar. The four children are running. Uh, Manyara is not happy. <laughs> because uh, she's vegan. Because mm-hmm. she's vegan. Crendor uh, <laughs> and Ad Hoc, you are up again. I pause ever so slightly to notice the look of disgust on her face, and I get a very serious thought of, oh, great, more for me. And I'm going to go ahead and cast Ray of Frost. (laughs) Ray of Frost at the piggies that we hit. Um, Can I tell which one of them is more injured than the other? Or no? The one on the left. I'll aim at that one then with the Ray of Frost. Range spell attack. uh, 16 to hit. That is. And it's going to be uh, it's great. Three, Freezer burnt meat. 1d8 cold damage. Uh, six. That's pretty respectable. So six cold okay. as blue white light streaks out of my staff. And it cannot. Uh, it's speeds reduced by 10 feet to the start of my next turn. Sure. That'll work. Uh, Crindor Sue, you're up. I'm not going after anybody. Even the one that attacked you? Nope. Fair enough. 17. Brother Cup, you're up. Um, Daddy's getting the sacred dance again. Roll a deck safe. A two this time. Oh, really great. Uh, and that's an eight this time, so eight points radiant damage. Nice show. I'm starting to smell pork. <clears throat> uh, don't bet on it. Crow, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm going to... Shoot an arrow at Papa and uh, 16 to hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, For uh, 10 points, piercing damage. Up to 29 or down to 29. Four ad hoc. You have an opponent. One, Crendor Sue. They're going to hit you anyway. Uh, So on ad hoc. Ooh, 16 plus 3, 19. Crendor, Sue, 5 plus 3, 8. You sidestep it. Ad hoc, I assume that hit you. It will, yep. <clears throat> Give me a DC 13 versus strength or get knocked on your ass. And you are going to take 5 and 6, 11. Murder Hobo Kondi. Yeah. Uh, well, I uh, I rolled a 16 with no bonus, so just that's a 16 for the strength check. <laughs> yep, you are not knocked on your ass. You still take the 11 hits. That's all right. Uh, piglets are like piglets that. are gone, man. They are out of here. Uh, hopefully they aren't orphan piglets, but we all know the one shot's coming up. Uh, <laughs> back, back to Ad Hoc and Crendor. You're up. I yell out a grunt of pain as the poor gores me. Ugh! But uh, I cannot be deterred. I'm going to um, shocking grasp it as it's kind of coming at me. Yeah, I'm assuming it doesn't have any metal. <laughs> it does not. Right. Oh, People boy, that's a... Cyborgs. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's a two plus six. Cyborgs? Eight misses. Exactly. Cyborg. Uh, Crendor, you got attacked last round again. So, who's left? Both of them. <laughs> Things all big. All right, kitty. Come on. Ugh. Yes. Crendor's so disgusted with our behavior tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she keeps turning the cat around so we can see a wink. Yes, I have been. <laughs> So, 18? 18 hits. So, 
looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Yeah. Mm, 14. Not enough. Really? Uh, Brother Cup, it's 35 and 29 are your marks. Brother Cup, you're up. Um. <clears throat> yeah. I know. And, and I'm going to have to do that thing. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. Love it. And, and range spell attack. Uh, <clears throat> 18 to hit on Daddy. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Damn. Only one murder hobo. The other two are fives. That's a uh, 16. Wait, where am I at? Hold on. God damn it, I lost the spell card. No, oh, wait. <coughs> no, it's 46. Sorry. Not 3d6. Ooh. Uh, 17, 19. That uh, was enough to put Daddy down. Points nice. of freaking radiant damage. Oh, oh, well. You're up. Nobody gets advantage against that attack next round, but. Mm, okay. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I'm going to halt my movement and uh, oh, do a steady aim for advantage. And uh, that will be 15 plus 8 to hit. Yep. So, so and uh, 9 points piercing damage. Not enough. Oh. Uh, uh, it flees. I will give uh, attack of opportunity to three crow. All right. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, uh, 13 plus eight to hit. Dead. Mama and daddy are dead. The four piglets are in the wind and ad hoc as you well that's all right you don't need to have any darling it's okay um, i will not be eating those uh creatures those are blair's creatures oh, your I... your savagery will need you to repent well, that may be very necessary. I will tell you, perhaps Blair put these creatures in our path so that we can feed ourselves today. Gods work in mysterious ways, darling. I, I don't write the rules. I really don't. That's uh, how things are. Okay. Well, I respect uh, these animals. Don't worry. I will put lots of barbecue sauce on them and cook them over some coals. They'll be delicious. It'll be excellent for everyone involved. Very nice. Uh, clearly, you guys have butchered these things. So they are good for food. Uh, their pelts and tusks are all chipped. So, mm, any uh, oh, anything other than meat is a, a no go for you guys. That's that's, that's fine with me. Uh, so, uh, where to? Um. To dwarf shades, I guess. Okay. Uh, mm. It would be the fastest way for me to repent if we get there right away. And, uh, oh, uh, I'm going to walk up and touch Grendor on the shoulder, and I don't know how many points Grendor needs, but I've got 14 to give. Uh, I think. Did you get hit? Okay, he gave you back 14. Nice. Uh, okay, you guys head off towards Shades uh, Cup. Give me a D4. Everybody or? Brother Cup. Brother Cup. D4? Yep. That's that pointy one. <laughs> yeah, the one I oh, step shit. on. Yeah, the Caltrop <laughs> in your bag. <laughs> yeah, the one. One. An hour later, uh, so mid-afternoon, uh, you guys come upon an unusual sight. It is yet another body face down in the swamp. Has okay. Lucifer struck again? Ask your girlfriend. Um, 
She had nothing to do with this, I assure you. Is this body wearing a gray robe also? How do you know? It is not. It is wearing ropes around its neck and hands. This would be the individual that you saw earlier. So being hauled away. (laughs) Uh, I would like to rush up and see how they're doing. Are they alive still? Are Uh, they unconscious? Do I know? Do you grab the body? Yeah. Check the pulse? Yeah. Give me me a deck deck save at disadvantage, Mm. Mr. Helper. (laughs) Wow. It's my nature. That's a nine. Uh, A rope wraps around your foot and up you go. Ooh, I'm upside down. down. Fantastic. Oh, brother cop. (laughs) Uh, Ad hoc. uh, uh, Manyara, should he be yelling? I, I don't know his way. I, the, the, quiet <laughs> down, brother cop. Uh, well, look at everybody, we just sprung the trap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Attention to yourself. I found it. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just inverted. Just, I think he's dead. <laughs> the, blood, the blood is going in my head, and I kind of like it. <laughs> oh, by the way, his uh, cleric robes are now up over his oh head. My. Oh, <laughs> and he's yep. commando. Well, lo- looks like a Jimmy Durante situation. Oh, <laughs> right. cha, cha, cha. Did he also get the poison <laughs> ivy to the crotch as well? It's looking rather enlarged and inflamed right now. Wow. An, a- an angry voice behind you says, Enough jokes for that poison ivy, y'all. <laughs> that's not Australian. No. Oh, I hear one more word about that poison ivy. There you go. <laughs> uh, so Let's yeah, get right. Brother Cup down before we. Or, uh, I don't want to see any more of his junk. I know that. You, yes. you three need an investigation role here because clearly there is a trap. Clearly there is a body, maybe dead, and clearly somebody has set this trap. Right, so now, right. if you guys want to rush in, your roll's at disadvantage. No, oh, I'm gonna. I don't rush anywhere, my good man. Uh... <laughs> nope, that's my job. <laughs> uh, your girlfriend would be glad to hear that that you don't rush. Damn, Somebody no. needs help. Run! Oh that, man, that okay. session lasted three days. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 18 for Crow on an investigation. Okay. That's better than my 11. Crendor? Mm-hmm. I scored a 100%. I found it. 17. You did? Uh, you guys do not notice any aggressors in the area as you slowly creep up. Uh, the body still has not moved, and Brother Cup is just kind of twirling around. Oh. Uh, my head's starting to feel funny. I think he enjoys <laughs> it. Do you recognize that body, Priestess? I, I was enjoying it. Uh, she... Yes, that is Steve from our village. <laughs> Steve, huh? <laughs> Poor Steve. Steve. Poor Steve. Ah, oh, Steve. Steve the slave. Steve. Does he have white hair? I, uh, you know what? Let's see. I think he does. Name Steve. Uh, Steve yeah, Steve's bald. Platinum blonde. Oh, bald. Steve the slave. <laughs> uh, who wants to check the body and who wants to cut down Brother Cup? I'll cut down Cup. <laughs> uh, Brother Cup, roll d six. That's how much damage you take by landing. It's like, oh, I'm glad oh, I didn't fun. roll a murder hobo. I got a one. There nice. you go. Uh, you land in a steaming pile of piglet boar shit. Aww. Uh, Aww. No, the boars were never this close. Who's checking the body? Um, um, Crow. Right. Crow checked the body. Nope. Crow cut down Brother Crow. Oh, I can't do both. Okay. Well, I'm not very perceptive, but uh, perhaps, Priestess, you can take a look with me and maybe tell me what you might notice. Um, but I'll look for sure. She'll, she'll go up. Uh, medicine check. Well, the medicine I do know about. Uh, Nine for her. Oh, look under your britches. 
So I'm, I'm doing an investigation check or I'm doing a medicine check as well? Medicine check. Medicine check? Oh, okay. Uh, she was um, distracted by Brother's Cup magnificence. I got, a, I got an 18 then. Uh, this guy has seen signs of torture. Uh, some ligature marks on both wrists as well as the ankles. Uh, and also uh, one around the neck. He was not lynched, which is now a federal crime, which is a good thing. I'm not going to do that. But this guy was tortured to death pretty bad. Mm. Uh, she will D12 against me there ad hoc. One. Two. Wow. Uh, she thinks he was some kind of construction engineer. Mm, yes, one and of the slaves all... of the beaver, indeed. Uh, yes. <laughs> slave to the beaver, huh? <laughs> and they have become there slaves, to the, slaves to the beaver. to the beaver. It's hard to stop being a slave to the beaver once you've come under its thrall. It's true. It's very true. Dragonborns are just sick creatures in general. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, I have yeah. heard that the beaver tail is mighty. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you got Steve the slave dead. On the trail to Steve. Uh, Shades. <sighs> well, it would seem well, that we are chasing <clears throat> a madman. We should at least shove his body in a nearby river. Sure. That's our way. Since he is, since he is from Shades, Minara, does he? Is there perhaps a burial rite or that you would wish to? Oh, well, uh, uh, the Blair would. Uh, request his ashes be scattered across the swamp, so we should probably burn him. We will do that, oh. then. I will cast Scorching Ray and burn him up. That doesn't wow. feed the crocodiles very well. <laughs> Not our job to feed the crocodiles. That's right. We, it's everyone's like, job to feed the crocodiles. They keep we the like, safe. We like plants, you pig. Uh, her divination rites or funerary rites we only got to take an hour, but that puts you kind of late in the afternoon. Uh, the scorching ray is applied. Uh, up go his ashes, off carried into the wind. Uh, head to Shades. Yes. Oh, yes. As you continue to head towards Shades, uh, by the end of the traveling day, you come to a very large uh, stockade fence similar to uh, oh. what was that other place you guys were at? Uh, We've Jekko. been to other places that look like this before. Yeah, Jekko is where you guys were at. <laughs> Ad hoc, you have never been to Shades. Uh, you know, you've, you've been an islander for the most part. Uh, but for some reason, uh, yeah, this is a stockaded town. Hmm. Well, as promised, Priestess Minara, we have brought you home. You are a man of your word, or a dragonborn of your word, and I appreciate it. Who wants to hail the guards at the gate? <clears throat> oh, that sounds oh. like a brother cup. Hello, move. hello, say, me. hello, the gate. Hello, I'm <laughs> Brother Cup. We have a priestess of yours, Minara. Uh, <laughs> we we had to kill a pig. Sorry. <laughs> They were delicious, though. Persuade me, Brother Cup. Did we try them? And <laughs> Oh, actually, you know, I have some skill in that. <clears throat> I think you guys are just dragging them behind you. Uh, it, uh, I have a 17 persuasion. Uh, hail, Manyara. It is good to see you back. Uh, hail, Bilbo. Nice to see you. Uh, <laughs> the only name I came up with. Uh, <laughs> should have been Obi-Wan. <laughs> uh, the gate's open, and you are allowed entry. Uh, there is a garrison here waiting for you, and they ask for your weapons uh, and point out that they will be returned upon your leaving. Sure. Uh, similar to what they did in Jekko. Yep. <laughs> Ad hoc will pull a beautiful jeweled dagger out from inside of his robes. Here you are, my good man. Is that what you call it? Oh, yeah. Yes. That's what my I call it. jeweled dagger. I'll, I'll, I'll hand over my mace, my crossbow, my dagger, and my shovel. 
uh, you are led to a uh, a log house, essentially a common area, if you will. <laughs> Not a pavilion because it has walls, uh, but you are led there to meet with the Elder of Shades. Uh, everybody, give me an investigation on your way there, just for shit's sake. Ooh, I like that. Seventeen. 17. Oh, two seventeens, beautiful. Seven. <laughs> Crow. Uh, what am I rolling again? Investigation. 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 <laughs> Sherlock Holmes roll. Yup. Twenty natural. Uh, everybody but Crendor notices that this is a well manicured area, uh, similar to Jekko. Uh, but you three notice that. And there just aren't a lot of people here. Mm. Uh, you see a lot of people moving around in the background, going from house to house, but not a whole lot of people here to greet you. Uh, you are led by uh, the warriors who have all your weapons, uh, and they point out where the armory is and tell you that's where your stuff will be. A couple of them escort you into this log room. There's a roaring fire where you guys can go ahead and get warm. Nice. Uh, kind of get your boots uh, dried out. Uh, and we will go ahead and stop there before you meet the magistrate. Uh, so, uh, Kevin, what'd you think? Oh, always a pleasure. Always so much fun. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, you guys did not hit any of your own people this time. Yeah, not, not very many natural ones tonight. Almost. Uh, uh, Almost. Uh, <laughs> Kevin, pitch uh, Game Night Heroes. Yeah, Game Night Heroes, actual play podcast, uh, just audio, not fun, cool, visual like this. So as Frank said, you don't get the money makers, you don't get the facial expressions. Yeah, because we're so exciting. We, <laughs> hey, I'm excited, but um, well, maybe that's ad hoc. I don't know. The uh, <laughs> no, it's uh, yeah, it's a actual play podcast, uh, fully edited, sound effects, all the cool fun stuff, and it's out on hey. Tuesdays. We got over a year's worth of stuff out now, so yeah, come check us out. Come, uh, come uh, join the join the journey, so to speak. Cool beans. Yeah. Uh, David, what'd you think? I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed uh, ad hoc's uh, shenanigans tonight. That was funny. <laughs> So yeah, that, that love interest, boy, you can't go wrong right. there. Yeah, that's he's it. got some game. I'll tell you what. It might <laughs> yeah, be he cheesy, does. But it's game. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, Rob, what'd you think? I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I always nice. love playing Brother Cup, uh, and it was a nicely like laid out and balanced fun. Mm -hmm. A little uh, this, I'm, little that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that uh, the missing individual has poison ivy in the crack of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's yeah. gonna love that one. Yeah, right. We have to try and find a salve for that. Uh, <laughs> as long as you know how to apply it. <laughs> that sounded like a volunteering to me. I don't that's know. Right. I, that's what I, I saw the hand raised. Yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have to search all over town for some. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie. It was good. Um, I still want to take out what's her face because, you know, nobody can be after a dragonborn that's that old. <laughs> She's got a really, like, pick me vibe, you know? I mean, because he can't get it up at that point. He's a splint, so I believe. <laughs> Okay. Uh, hey, uh, old old guys got that mojo. They got yeah. Well, that well, that's it. Yeah. That's they because they stuff. they remember chasing girls. They just don't remember what to do when you catch them. <laughs> right. uh, they're like dogs. So. They're come um, look at my etchings, my dear, and they're really nice. etchings. So. <laughs> right. well, folks, that's been Murder Hobo Inc. the Calamity Edition B side. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit about the indie join our discord which i'm horrible at uh so those two friend requests i will get to you as soon as i remember what my discord password is uh thanks for <laughs> the uh, new folks that uh have jumped aboard we certainly appreciate that uh if you're in the market for some dice or other crap uh check out our links below or at pirate dog dice on twitter uh if you want your game to smell not like swamp uh, try one of the other 58 or so scents from Adventure Sense. 
at oddpitchgames.com. They also make the shine system, so you can write gooder than me. Uh, tomorrow, we have Margu, A-side. <sighs> that is just a shit show waiting to happen. Last uh-huh. week, they, they attacked a merchant vessel and may or may not have killed somebody named Raglan, you know, that major metropolitan area to the west. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to say. Uh, that'll uh, rocket off at 4.15-ish p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Tuesday, we've got another Between the Rolls, and I believe, I believe, I believe after tomorrow, we've hit 500 shows. Whoa! So, uh-huh. Okay, that is congratulations! A lot of shows. Beautiful. Uh, if, if you look at the lineup oh, on YouTube shit. or the other, uh, it'll show four ninety nine. That's because we had uh, an episode at Gen Con two years ago with a douchebag who oh, no. agreed that we were going to publish it. He pitched a hissy fit. So, oh really? Yeah, nice. Uh, you know, we decided not to run. It was, yeah. It, anyway, uh, so remember, if you're gonna play online, uh, expect it to be tape recorded. And if you know, we say it's gonna be broadcast live, maybe and, pay the fuck attention. Uh, and if you're and if your witsec person isn't on board enough to stop you from doing it, then you're not under witness protection. Well, he uh, he didn't say until like an hour after the show, which kind of pissed me off but anyway mm. 500 shows uh so we're bigger than bonanza bitches <laughs> and that, that says a lot folks uh join us tomorrow for margu uh it should be a hoot maybe they get back above board uh for all Stick the around till we humble, bury the simpsons that's right uh let's give them a big old kiss and wave and get the hell out of dodge Mwah. bye everybody